the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself a prudent god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth one more day being renewed to the praise of the glory of our lord and savior jesus christ among the midst of this intensified stage of the angelic conflict in the divine energy and in the divine health when we confess our sins we could really know the real purpose of the controlling power of lord god the holy spirit so that we could really do that which is pleasing in the sight of jehovah when we are really keeping forth his commandments the keeping forth is to watch carefully the commandments the authority of the one who has commanded it to us and we could know that when we are doing whatever we request we are obtaining because of this one simple fact of truth the truth is that we are keeping carefully the words of the lord the commandments of doctrine and we are doing in the sight of him that which is pleasing the greek word which has been used for please is arastos to please or to be content with that's what day by day intake of bible doctrine stands for contention is nothing content is nothing but daily day by day process it is not just weekly or monthly it is every day that is what we need to be content our lord best word for them that spiritual manna the physical manna in the wilderness when it was every day it was a content it was contently given day by day process the same thing has been given for us they took rest on the day of sabbath but we don't have time to take rest on the day of sabbath even on the day of sabbath alone these people they are proclaiming they have really changed the true order of bible doctrine into a law into a lie which is not a truth dear brethren day by day renovation of our thinking is the ultimate which our lord has chosen for us day by day thinking day by day growing up in the word of the lord though your outward man perishes inward man has to be renewed said the word of the lord and that is the only one process which bible doctrine demands and records for us but what are we doing we are not content with it but rather we are content in grieving and squelching and lying and tempting the ministry of lord god the holy spirit who permanently indwells in us dear brethren you know you are very much really applicable to be to the point before the foundation of the world holy and blameless to such kind of a great extension holy and blameless you are the dear brethren you have been kept here to prove a case you have been kept here to understand the truth and teach the word of the lord by practical living of the word rather than just staying away over here with xyz trends and following the lustful patterns of your old sin nature as your priority dear brethren this word you need to know a rush toss meant to say to please or to be content with but in it has been used in 1 john 322 distinguishing between two factors the first one is the requirement and the second one is the satisfaction to tell you this as an example if we are hungry we require food to eat and when we have bought the food to to eat and if you are not eating it that is the requirement being done satisfaction is when you eat it exactly in the same manner in the sight of god the requirements are the precepts or the commandments what he has been given to us and the satisfaction is that which we do out of love when the one has for god this is what satisfaction is being those that are done out of love eating 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 and satisfying your hunger is what exactly the word meant to say please in the greek but in the 
in the translation of English, we have really lost that essence. We have lost the essence of requirement and satisfaction. The word for arrest us not only requires for requirement and satisfaction, but further it goes on to prove it is not only just the requirement and satisfaction to be done, but it has to be done with content. Every day we have to do it. And how it has to be done? Doing is the word used for poeo in the Greek. And it means to say, make an endowment a person with a certain quality so that the object and the end could be bought and really doing once and for all from which this process could be absolutely produced. The end product bringing forth something which produced as independent existence of its own. That is what the certain quality, independent existence of its own. And this can never be done in your human energy, nor it could be made known to understand in the human energy. But it could be done only in the divine energy. And the divine energy is nothing but the controlling power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, which he graciously bestows upon, him, upon us in a day-by-day -day renovation of this life on this earth. As long as we are being kept alive, dear brethren, you need to not only one thing lord what is the purpose of of me today with you on this earth father you have given me everything that's what you need to tell and you need to look upon doctrine the right pastor teacher who can train you up faithfully rightly handling the word of the lord is the ultimate goal of a believer on this earth and why all these things have been told in hebrews 2 we have a great lesson that before the foundation of the world when our lord has chosen to be holy and blameless in Ephesians 1 in hebrews he tells getting many sons unto glory getting them to have that greater glory and honor at the same time giving them a crown and this crown should be declared that's what the word could be used the word which could be used for declare is Apa gallo, if not apo plus lagia, to tell from someone that is someone is nothing but the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. The name of you is nothing but the Yahweh to the brethren, the believers in Christ, forming the royal family of God, in midst of the outcalled one, Ecclesia, and the English translation says in Hebrews 2 to 12, I will sing praise unto thee, rather than that it has to be, I shall praise unto thee. That is what a process, because now the people are looking for singing, singing hymns and really changing the doctrine into a lie. Singing hymns is not for the thing, making melody in your heart, singing spiritual songs. How can you make it? Only when you know doctrine or singing doctrine, hymning out doctrine. That hymning out of doctrine should be praise unto glory of Jehovah. Only when they could know when the word of the Lord being declared in the pulpits. And you cannot say X, Y, Z reasons. You have done this. You have done that. You need to proclaim the truth. Until and unless our Lord God the Father gives you the bona fide gift from the department of the head of the church, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you cannot declare. Because you will be faithfully prepared. You will take time to study. You will be constantly looking upon to dig upon the truth. You cannot simply come over here and stand and tell X, Y, Z reasons. You have to tell that which has been prepared, which has been learned, which has been made known to study under the mentor ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, by through proper isagogics, categories, and exegesis of the word, with right dispensing technique of dispensations. That is what you have been called for. That is what you have been chosen for. That is what you have been made known for. Why these things have been told for you to be declared in the church about Christ, uh, through Christ, uh, about our Lord God the Father to the brethren. Only for one simple reason, dear brethren, you believe it or not, so that you could attain strength. Krato! In Revelation 3.10 we have, Behold, be careful, and hold fast to the crown which has been given to you so that none should rob. The Krato, the all-power of God. A Krato meant to say you have strength, you have power. So that no one can no one can drag it out, take it out from you. The power what has been given for us is the knowledge of Bible doctrine. We need to renew it, it our thinking day by day. We should be mentally strong, spiritually strong. Your spiritual strongness will come only when you can take day by day process of Bible doctrine. And when you go on to do in another manner, you cannot and you will never get it. It is a day by day renovation of our thinking. Only through a proper process of learning of Bible doctrine. Then only you can be strong so that no one can take away the crown, the Stephanos, which is due unto you. 
In Philadelphia, we have a great lesson to be learned. When you really secure the word of the Lord, the Lord is going to see that He is going to deliver you from all temptations, all trials, all sufferings. And furthermore, our Lord is going to see that when you really hold upon doctrine and take care of your crown, when you overcome in this thing, He's going to make you a pillar in the temple of God. Simple logic. But men are giving their crown to each and every one. By not heeding to doctrine, by not learning to doctrine, by not giving number one priority for, word, for the word of the Lord. Even in Ezekiel 42, we have great lessons to be learned, verses 12, 13, and 14. To the inner sanctuary where there is the holy of the holies, or the sanctuary which has been given only for the priests, they alone have to enter there because they are holy. And if anyone touches their garments, they have to go and change it out. And they should not come to the same garments. What is the reason behind that? The only reason behind that is, it is the word of the Lord. And Lord has made us and kept to be holy, to be pure. Before the foundation of the world. In the millennium temple, Lord says those who are holy, they are the priests. And Lord has called us to be priests and kings to his kingdom right now. Referring to one of the Old Testament category of Deuteronomy 17, 18, King to write the word of the Lord. And preach to present yourself as a living sacrifice unto Jehovah by the confession of your sins. What are we doing? We do not value, we do not care, we do not understand the real purpose why our Lord has chosen us to be the holy and priesthood, why we are unique, why are we given these allocated cadences, why have we been given these polytema privileges? What is the unique spiritual life to be defined? What is the life that we need to learn and understand the truth? We are not interested in all of these things because we don't have strength to hold. Kratos. Pantocrator has been used for our Lord. He is holding all together to once. That is his essence. That is his character. But when we come to doctrine, when we come to individuality, the strength should be derived as you take in Bible doctrine day by day process. It cannot be done in any other method or any other procedure. It has to be done only in truth under the one proclaiming it in the church through the mentor ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, the right pastor teacher to your congregation. Dear brethren, think over these issues. Our life is too short. We cannot waste our life in useless and worthless speculations on this earth. We cannot spend our time in thinking that which could be absolutely right and we can do this and we can do that. No. The only source is Bible doctrine, Bible doctrine, Bible doctrine. That which is pleasing to Jehovah is absolutely into two processes to be content in requirement and in satisfaction of the word. The requirement is to follow his precepts. Satisfaction is that which we do out of love to God. Therefore, desire for truth followed by love of God. You don't have desire for truth, you don't know what is to love God. Dear brethren, be careful. None should take away a crown. To take away not your crown, you should hold strength, greater strength. And if you don't have that strength to hold it, you have lost. And furthermore, we do have, we know we are working it out for what? To tell the name of Lord God the Father in the midst of the church. And to proclaim by the one given by the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit. And if you are not able to listen or to think or to consider or even have ability to concentrate, Lord help you out. But remember, God uses only faithful men and prepared men. Those who are faithfully prepared men are the workers of God on this earth. To proclaim this information, it takes time to study and to teach. And if you are not interested to know this, Lord help you. So regarding this, we shall continue in the next step. Father, grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enter us on these things and make us also a blessing and challenge sovereign, Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.